For this star block, I have all my pieces cut. To start us off, we need to make some half square triangles. So for that, we need to draw a line from corner to corner on the wrong side of the fabric with a mechanical pencil or chalk. So I'm just going to do that for all four pieces. Then, after you have your lines drawn, you place right sides together and sew on both sides of that drawn line. So you have two half square triangles for each piece that you're going to sew. After we have our two seams drawn, we need to separate these. So we're going to cut directly on that drawn line and we'll have now two half square triangles for each of those squares to make our star block. First thing I'm going to do is press these open. And I'm going to press them open to the dark side of the fabric. Now that we have all of the blocks cut and squared up, we can go ahead and start laying out the star block. So I've got four corners with my background, and then I have my center block here, and then I've got all of these half square triangles. So we just need to place them, um, making sure that the half square triangle color is facing the right direction. So just double check that before stitching together that they are correct. The first thing that we are going to be sewing is putting these half square triangles um, we're going to be sewing these two together and then we need to sew these two together so we can sew them to either side of the center. All right, now that I have these sewn together, um, I can go ahead and continue working on putting the block together. So I'm going to add another section to this. I can add my center to the side and then another section and then continue on until I have three complete rows for the block. Now that we have them in three rows, we're going to go ahead and just fold this over right sides together. Because we have a couple seams here, we can go ahead and line them up, nest them, make, force one to go to the other side so they are opposites um, and lay really nice and flat. Use some pins if you need to prior to sewing. All right now that I have one row on, I'm going to go ahead and give this a press now. All right, so now for putting the block together and finishing it, we're going to lay that bottom row on and then we are going to stitch. Now that it is complete, I'm going to just give it a good press. I'm going to check the measurements on the pattern to make sure that it is the correct size and do any kind of trimming or squaring up if needed.